Today we take this boring setup and turn it into this. Nothing happened. Should, should I like a uh, like magic word or something? Clap your fingers, clap your hands, turn yourself around. Nah, just roll it. If you guys have not seen the recent video, I am gonna be converting this space back to all-in-one setup. So shout out to everybody out there months ago that said that, that, that this won't stick. But in today's video, we're gonna be primarily focusing on this area right here. I wanna spice this up, get rid of this desk. Overall, I don't have enough room in this setup for my personal needs. I know some people, like they're like, that's plenty of space for you, but like, I, I, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot, 230 pounds, and I need my space. I'm getting old, I need as much room as I can get. That's not enough, so shut up. Oh, okay, goddamn. So eventually all this will be getting back removed, so there's not gonna be a, an official tour of the, the man cave, as some of you so clearly hate being called that. I did have to get a new PC, because the PC's been on the ground, and it, it blew up, because it's, it's on the carpet. You guys called it, you guys were so, so accurate about that. Oh, do you think this is a joke? So, and I wanna make it clear, it's not that I don't like this space, I think it's really cool. Uh, first and foremost, Echo! Audio is really, really bad in here, and I could hypothetically put a lot more money into this. I mean, hey, I'm not even really a lot of money, just a little time and elbow grease into soundproofing this more, but instead I was like, why do I just like coolly <laughs> What the f is, what is, what's coolie? I figured in a more sleek way, I could soundproof the black room even better for the gaming setup. So today's goals is I am taking this tabletop off. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna put some cable management underneath. I went and snagged a couple Alexander drawers from Ikea. <laughs> Like they really changed much throughout the years. I would kind of almost like a style like this with those instead of just the standard Alexander desk. But it's actually kind of crazy how much desk stuff they have here now. Also, little side hack, if you ever go to Ikea and you're looking for a desktop, one of the places you also should be looking is in the dining set area. Uh, one of my first desktops that I got, uh, the IKEA hack video that I made that did really well on my channel, that was actually a dining room table top when I got that. All right, before I go and find what I need, you know we have to check out the as is section. If you guys have never been to IKEA, or if you have and you've never checked this out before, I highly encourage you guys, before you buy something, come to the as is section and see what they have laying around. You can find incredible deals here. Like this $200 desk is now $140 still ready to go because it has a little blemish right there. So we'll put those drawers together, take that desk out of the room, hang up the sound paneling that I wanna create, and then put this beautiful, more roomed desk. Why do I keep making up weird, more roomed? What, what, what are these words? What are the words that I'm looking for? I'm gonna take this desktop that has more real estate and I'm gonna put that in the gaming setup. So that is today's objective. One thing I'm really pumped about is like, good thing that room's already painted. Could you imagine having, like we were starting to look at painting this room and I was just like, not happening, not happening. The other thing that's gonna be really tough is like, I finally got all this decor on the walls and I don't know where I'm gonna put it in. So obviously everything is tore down. The next things that I wanna do, uh, this is gonna be very challenging. So what I would like to accomplish, I have this extra Philips Hue RGB strip that I want to somehow mount on the wall in some sort of fashion. And then from there, I have these sound panels that I got off of Amazon. Surprisingly super cheap, but they're more like hex style a little bit more designer-ish looking. And I essentially wanna create a giant design 
on the wall with these. And I wanna use these tack pins on the sound panel to be able to adjust them away from the wall and not have them just sitting completely flush on the wall. <laughs> Super confusing. So right now, basically, I have to get the measurements of the center of the wall and then try to figure out how I want to, to mount these. One like on today's video is one prayer. Please, for the love of God, like the video. Okay, sound panels are up. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust some things, but I just wanna, wanna test the waters and see how the lights look behind it. <laughs> Let's go! I mean, look how sick. Look how sick that looks. Okay, so now for the most annoying part of this project. I gotta put these Alexander drawers together. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, I was gonna do some kind of like cute little edit or time lapse, but to be completely honest, these IKEA drawers aren't worth my time. So I've built the basic structure of these and I'm gonna do the drawers later. I just wanted to put these together so that way it was stable enough to put the desk into the room. So that way I could set up the PC monitors and all the RGB lights. And yes, I am watching one of the greatest TV shows of all time, Scrubs. If you don't know, you're pathetic. Hey Kim, they got shit on me. Okay, so now we need to take everything off this desk, flip it over, take the legs off, and transfer the desktop into the gaming room. This should be wonderful. Okay, here we go. I mean, come on. How badass does that look? I mean, sure, we're missing drawers, managed cables, gotta clean up a lot of stuff in certain areas, but just imagine how this is gonna look when we mount these monitors. Okay, so one thing I didn't consider while doing it this way, putting the frames in before I put the drawers in is the stability that the drawers have while being inside of like the boxing area. So I'm really hoping even with the pressure of the desk sitting on top that the drawers will still fit inside. Gotta start putting them together and we'll see. Okay, moment of truth. Sick. Okay, 20 more to go. I did get the second set of drawers in and I've got all the drawers actually screwed into the, the little railings, the little slots. Ikea drawer systems are not hard. They're just like annoying because there's just so many little parts, nooks and crannies, and the instructions are pretty basic. Like they don't go into vivid detail on how to build these things, but that's okay. We being the tinkering man that we are, figure it out, don't we? Men and women, I know there are a lot of females into to gaming and setups too. Please don't cancel me. Anyways, right now it's time to mount the monitors to the desk. I wanted to make sure too, I gave a little side tip here. When you are mounting dual monitors on your desk and you are going to have a main monitor or you're gonna have a horizontal monitor and a vertical monitor for like your chat. When you're getting everything set up, you wanna make sure the center of your desk is going to where the main monitor will be. I used to make the mistake of mounting the monitor mount to the center of the desk. Then I would find myself my gaming monitor off too close to the computer or way too close to the drawer system. So I was constantly bumping my leg. So since this is where my monitor is going to mount, I found the center of my desk and I mounted this monitor mount to where the center of the desk would be for this arm. So that way this monitor, the main 240 Hertz gaming monitor, extreme pro player monitor is now going to be at the center of my desk. Fun fact for you all. I'll need is that. That's pretty neat. Also, hashtag not an ad. They're not paying me. I just actually randomly found these guys. But this stuff is definitely the best screen cleaner that I've ever used on any of my devices. I use this for my MacBook. Yes, I am a firm believer that there is a difference between screen cleaner for your electronics and devices versus using something like Windex. Not that Windex doesn't work, but when you get an actual electronic screen cleaner, a little bit goes a long way. And I don't know if you've ever tried using Windex on a, on a MacBook, but I would not recommend doing that. Unless you hate your MacBook, then use Windex on your MacBook. After four long weeks in the trenches, I look only a day of age older. I, I think, 
Bro, it, it sounds like it's a straight hurricane outside. If you guys don't hear from me after today's video, you guys will know that the notorious 2022 Charlotte storm has taken me out. We have flooded away. We have flooded. We, we are back in Versailles, Ohio and have flooded away. Don't be nitpicking on today's video. Don't be that Debbie Downer bitch. Hey, yo, what the fuck? You didn't manage your cables. Everything here is a work in progress. It allows me to, to produce more videos for you guys and gals. So be happy about it. So I don't have my mic set up yet. I also don't have my camera and light set up yet for the streams. I'm taking this setup out on a date first to see if I, if I like it, if I'm into it at all. Maybe I'll take it out on a second date, see how things really go. And then here in a few dates, when I realize that this is this is the setup that I'm in love with for the next month and a half, then I'll put the microphone and all that stuff on here. So that way it's less work for me. I'll mount all the cable management stuff, get all that out of the way. Moment of truth. Let's see if both are hooked up. Okay, well, that's... Hey guys, how are we doing today? We just watched all of Harry Potter's this last like, what, two weeks? Probably a week and a half. Yeah. Ever can ever. All right, now here's the real test. Let's see, well, first and foremost, Mate, you're not supposed to show this part of the room. People think that I'm I'm professional with this shit. Hey, don't show my feet. People gotta pay for that type of content. All right, let's move the chair over here. Oh, I love the height of this. Oh, I'm so pumped. I had no room on that secret lab setup. I seen so many of you little gremlins comments. There's like no room. You put one monitor on there. Yeah, for the sake of the video, setting it up out there. But when you put everything else out here, like a giant mix, this roadcaster and everything else, my freaking arm span is like two foot per arm. I didn't have any room. Also. A big shout out to Alt Customs. Sent me out this mouse pad and this custom PS5 controller. I didn't ask for any of this. Just one day on TikTok, they were like, hey, check out this video. And they made me these and sent me out. They actually sent me two controllers. They sent me out a mouse too. All right, ready? Let's mm -hmm. see what this looks like in the dark. Ooh, lights out, Bravo 6. How's it look in the dark? Oh my God, that looks so goddamn sick. I didn't know if you wanted me to show it from the side. Why, so they can see all the cable management? Don't show those little no. bastards the cable management. They don't deserve any more than what they get now. The layers of the things. Oh yeah, I gotta kind of figure some of that out. Like some of these are a little too close so you can see the lights. Mm. So gotta figure that out. Also, I gotta balance them. Are you surprised that I got this much done in one day? I'm more surprised that you got this much done in the day since I came home. Yeah, Megan's been sick all day. Not the coat, just she ate something bad. So I always say when you share something online, cause everybody 0.5 oh. goddamn seconds becomes a doctor, a nutritionalist. So yeah, Megan was sick today. So I'm actually really surprised that I, that I actually even got this set up. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you like version one with a little baby ass desk? Or do you like this version here? Let me know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see more updates to this setup next week. Okay, that's all I'm doing this week.